Hello everyone, in this tutorial you will learn how to play a video after reaching to a particular location in Unreal Engine like GTA type scheme. You can use this type of thing in your story mode game or introducing your level. So let's get begin. So firstly we will need our video inside our Unreal Engine. So go inside your content browser and simply drag and drop the video here. I am using this video which I created for this tutorial so it's just a kind of simple video which i'm going to play at that location you can go on with your any video that you like so just simply select it and open it or simply drag and drop then you will find there is our video in our content browser now right click on your content browser and here inside a media create a media player and take this pop-up that you get and press ok you can name it whatever you want i'm going with the default name and here double click and open it and inside select your video and just save this and now there you will find this thing so just press it and create a new material of this double click on this material and connect the rgb with immersive color and just save it and cut it now we have to create a widget where we can just showcase our this media so right click on your content browser again and create a widget go under user interface and select widget blueprint and here select a widget name it whatever you want and double click to open it now inside our widget just get a canvas panel so that we can add our images or video inside it so drag it here and now here search for an image actually we are going to uh, use an image and just apply the video above it so drag it and scale it in your canvas panel as per your need and now here in the search bar just search for a material okay so we want to add a material of this so here we are going to add a material that we created so just simply drag and drop this there you will see a warning so just click it it's not going to affect anything and now we are all done okay wait let me just do its proper arrangement okay now it's good you can arrange it as per your need just compile and save it now we are coming back to our scene games scene and here what we are going to do we will create a triggered box so that soon whenever our character will get over it that video will play so i will just search for a triggered box and add it the look add it to the location where i want my video to be played when our character just collide to it so here simply drag the triggered box and place it here and arrange it as per your need after this we will open our level blueprint you can find it here just click on this open level blueprint and you will find a graph of our level blueprint so here what we will do first we will just wait let me put it aside so that i can work on this vice versa and now here first we will create a reference of our this triggered box okay so before creating a reference actually go inside the collision and select on begins overlap so that what will happen as soon we our character will be step on it a particular event will play and now here just create a variable and call it a media player under variable type change it from boolean to a media player and compile this then here you will find this thing so add our media player here and compile it again and now just get this inside our graph now using this get a node and search for a open source and in this open source we will just basically select our media that we exported which is basically our video so just i have simply one video so i am selecting this and now here again search for create a widget actually we want to create a widget in our screen so search for create a widget and here inside it select a widget that we created for our video and now we need to display this widget inside our viewport so search for add to a viewport and then here you will find that everything is done so what this blueprint is actually going to do soon our player will overlap on our triggered box the video which we created is going to be play on our screen let me give it a try so here inside our game whenever we will go up at our triggered box then here you can see that our animation is playing so our animation is basically playing here but there is a problem that after our animation or our video will over we will not coming back to our game again so we have to fix this and inside our background actually i'm moving right now but it's not visible here so we have to fix that thing too and now we will come back to our level blueprint and here we will add a node called remove all widgets so it will remove all the widget which is in our screen so we will just search for remove all widget but there you can find it will remove all widget without even playing this so we have to add a delay node so that it will delay for a second through which our video will played so i am just adding the value inside the delay 
for 13 seconds because my video is off about 12 seconds you can play with the value as per your videos need videos length so I'm making it 13 now what I want I want my player to be stopped while the video is playing you can just simply make a game pause system but uh, right now I don't need that I'm just simply making my player to be stopped and don't show any movement while the video is playing so I will cast to third person character here wait let me just make this all side first and from here get a node called cast to third person character so that we can work get our third person characters variable and connect the other actor with our object i mean other actor with our object yeah and here just search for get player character movement so that we can basically turn on and turn off this from here so get a character movement here and search for set active and right now i'm making it active later on we will just turn it off and connect it with this and connect it with our this now it's all said done now starting it will deactivate whenever our character will begin overlap on our triggered box and later on we will make it active so here i'm just setting it to be active after this after the videos will end 13 seconds later we will just get our movement back so i will copy that okay and i will simply copy it and paste it there and make it active i mean just click on this new active and we will find that it's active now now what's happening here after 30 seconds we when our video will over we will get our moment back so i am thinking why not to make a skip button here inside our widget so i'm simply going to search for a i mean button and i will drag it into our scene and i will scale it as per my need you can do it right now i'm making very basic button you can directly go on with any key but here i'm making a button so that you will get the idea how the button works so just get a button here okay and adjust it as per your need and here search for a text and drag it into your canvas panel and just rename the text i am just writing it as a skip here and now what we will do here okay it's all done we don't need to do anything in this text now just select your button and go here in right hand side select this on click and there what we will do on click we will remove all the widgets so we'll search for remove all widgets and our each and every widget will be removed from our scene and now when we will go inside our game and when i hit the play then there you can see let me go to the point okay so now our video is playing and now if i will just go inside our click on this skip button then there you can see that now video skipped but here you can see i'm unable to move this is because we set it in our that level blueprint graph that uh, it will only we will get our movement only when our video is end okay so here we are just going to change the soon our video will start and eh, start we will get back our movement back so just disconnect this all notes and here we are going to attach our movement node first so that we will get our movement back directly when the video will start so i will just connect it with uh, this and later on then we will connect this with it and lastly with our remove all widgets so now now it's all done so just compile and save this okay wait actually i forgot to connect it okay so remember to connect this so i'm connecting it there yeah that's all done now we will compile and save this and now whenever now we will go inside of a game then there you can see that soon i will go there okay i'm going now the video is playing and now if i will just press skip then our video is skipped and we also have our movement back but the thing is not ended here because when now let me show you why we i'm saying this soon i will go here and i will connect okay i'm just skipping it right now and there if i will overlap on this box again then our animation or our video is going to play again so we have to delete as soon as our animation will over so it's very easy thing so what we are going to do we will just delete our triggered box as soon our video will play it so so that we will avoid our continuous coming of our this animation or our this video so go inside your level blueprint again and here make sure to select our triggered box here and right click on your graph 
and create a reference of our this triggered box here now drag a node from this and search for destroy actor now select this both and move it here and we are going to attach it before our add to viewport so just connect the node here and connect the final load with our set active and we are all set done now it's time to go back to our game and see what are the results so when i will go inside my game and i will just hit the play now i will go to that location and there you can see soon i will reaching it there you can see our animation or our video is playing here so i can just skip it or i will just skip it if i want so i'm just skipping it okay wait i'm skipping it and there you can see now i am showing my movements and after coming here again my video is not playing so that's enough for this video if you have any query related to this you can ask me in the comment section and make sure to subscribe and you can also join our discord server link in my description bye bye